Guess what time it is? It is Stitch Fix unboxing time. I swear they are reading my mind lately. I was pretty much done with the last box and well, okay, I can't say that because currently right now I'm wearing what I got from the last box. It was actually pretty good, but I wasn't going to like sign up for a while. I was just going to do Wantable and then they sent me an email and they were like, oh, you should treat yourself for Valentine's Day. Here's the $20 styling fee on us. So, it's another free box, technically. I didn't pay anything to get this box. And they're gonna sucker me in by probably sending me something that I like again. Which is a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. So, this box actually looks pretty thin. Like, you know, I used to get really thick boxes, but I recently put on there, like, don't send me like cold clothing items because it's not cold here. It's, I mean, I'm wearing a dress right now with no leggings and it's hot outside. So actually yesterday was cold. The day before that was 86. Today is probably 86 again. It's just crazy. Here we go. Oh, oh my, that looks scary to me. That's terrifying. Okay. Breathe, breathe. Okay, here we go. Here is a, which way is the front? Is this the front? All right, so this is a orange tank, which I love tanks, I love, love tanks. And it's got like this little v-neck right here. And it's a little flowy at the bottom with some detail at the bottom, which is really pretty. It's got the detail all around. And the back is what has all the detailing on it, and that's really pretty. Um, it's not necessarily something that I would be drawn to uh, when I first saw it. I'll definitely have to see how the fit is. Hopefully it fits me cute. We'll see. I'm open to it, and let's see how much it is. The best part. The most terrifying part. The brand of this is HML, and it is $54. Ouch, $54. Next, we have this shirt right here, and it's got a lot of lace detailing at the top. And sorry, I've got both my kids in here right now. That's just what happens with Stitch Fix unboxings. I have to like rush in here and do this video real quickly. But um, this is like a grayish blue, which is really pretty, and um, it's got like a little keyhole in the back. I don't know that I'm like super crazy about it, but I'm gonna see when I put it on. Um, I don't hate it. It's called, uh, it's by the brand Moon and Sky. And let's see how much that is. 54 again, so. Okay, this is a black, oh, that's the back, okay. So this is a black crochet detail tank. I actually really like this. Um, I like the detailing here, and then it's kind of just like a plain black tank, and then the back is open right here. That's really pretty. Um, I guess you would have to have like a really low cut bra, you know what I'm saying? So that it doesn't show in the back. It's not a problem, but I really like that actually. That's very pretty. It'd be pretty with some jeans, like any color jeans really, since I love wearing colored jeans. And the brand of this is Jealousy. Ha <laughs> ha, Jealousy, Jealousy, that's funny. Okay, um, 38, wow, that's pretty pretty good i was really expecting another 54. now this is terrifying me when i see this i'm like no and the more that i unravel it the more terrified i am this is by the brand renee c this is definitely not something i would wear um i i i just can't, i just can't i really just can't with this um Let's see how much it is. $78. Oh, I can actually see this like being at Ross for like $12.99 and me not even like giving it two thoughts. I would just go right past it. It's just not, definitely not something that I would wear. And last but not least are some camo jeans. I don't know about this. Okay. I really like the, like, I like the look of them, as in the, the style and the fit of them. I have never, 
Okay, I take that back. One time I had a pair of camo pants. I have always had this thing against camouflage. Like, I grew up in the country and um, I was always anti-camo. Like I was a city girl growing up in the country and camo to me was just like, ugh. I still feel that same way about camo, but these pants are so cute. Like they're like a, a faded, a muted camo that might actually be really cute with like this black tank or something. Like you could dress them up. I don't know, is camo in right now? I don't know, I feel like I haven't seen anybody wearing camo. And the pants are $68. So that's actually really not too bad. I mean, compared to like these shirts right here. I do have a $25 credit for somebody who ordered underneath me. They ordered their Stitch Fix. So whoever you are that ordered underneath me, thank you very much. Um, it, it will go towards something that I decide to keep if I decide to keep something. I don't even know if I should try this on for like for laughs. I mean, I guess I'll try it on, but I know I'm not keeping it. I'm I don't even care what you guys say. I'm not keeping this. And I'm gonna try the other stuff on, so I will be right back. Alright, so I've got on the black tank and the camo pants. And this is what it looks like. I forgot to say that the pants have this zipper detailing on them, but this shirt is just I feel like it's very pretty throughout the top here. Like that's really pretty. The challenge would be to find a bra that actually doesn't show back here. I'm, I'm not really in love with either one. I feel like this, this hangs out like it comes out too much. Like it's one of those shirts that really drapes out and is not very flattering on the side. I don't know, they're just, they're just both okay. I don't hate them, but I don't know. What do you guys think? This is the orange shirt. I think it's just because my shoulders are so broad. The way that it hangs in the back is just not cute. Like this is just, the way that it's hanging right there, I don't like it. And it's very wide right here. Like I am not, I mean, I'm not supermodel skinny, but also this is not doing anything for me right here. I mean, it's like my body's in there somewhere. You just got to find it, I promise. <laughs> okay, so here is the last shirt that I have besides the dress. And um, I'm not sure if you can see the detailing very well right here. But I went ahead and put it on with some jeans and I'm going to scoot back my little ones right here. So. I don't know. I mean, it's just all right. It's not $54 cute. It's not something that I would pick out for myself per se. Like I would be getting it just to get it because I have a little bit of a credit. I don't even have that much of a credit. So I don't know guys. Here is the blue dress and okay. It's not like it's awful on it's just not my style i like very neutral things this just does not scream me i will step back so you can see it in case you are interested this is what it looks like this is what the bottom looks like this is definitely not very breastfeeding friendly i don't like it i'm not keeping it end of story so that was my very disappointing stitch fix this is probably like one of the worst boxes that i've gotten in a while i feel like the last box was so good when i kept this one I actually did not keep the yellow shirt which i really wish that i should have now looking back um but it was like one or the other at the time so i kept the red dress and i love it and i thought that that was a really good fix and this one is just so bad it's so bad so what i will probably end up doing is either keeping this black crocheted um tank or I will, because I have the credit, or I will order another box and it will technically be free and have it shipped to me. That will probably be the last one or this will be the last one. I don't know. I don't like any of these things. It makes me very sad. I feel like maybe they're running out of things to send me. I don't know. It, ugh, I just, I feel like I pinned really good things to my board to kind of get an idea of what I like. And these definitely do not match what I like. I'm sorry if you can hear noise in the background. My son is shaking a nerd's box right now. And I just don't have the heart to take it away from him. I just feel like it's time to let Stitch Fix go. I just, 
I just can't with this anymore. It's very disappointing. So I may just stick with Lunchable for now. I have thought about trying out some other boxes as well. So y'all let me know if there's any subscription boxes that you think I should try out below. I know somebody had mentioned Trunk Club, I think, which is associated with Nordstrom. I may try that out depending on like what the prices are. I just feel like Stitch Fix is so overpriced and this stuff is not that great. I mean, I can, I can pick out my own clothes better than this. You know, I don't need a stylist to pick it out for me. I just like the idea of being able to get something that you necessarily can't find in the store. And it is also kind of nice to have things sent to you that you do like, and you don't have to go out and get it like, you know, with your kids and all that kind of stuff. So I hope you all are having a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, not necessarily the box, but if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.